back to ARC Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question I'm bringing you is, given a particular variable, how do you know that whether it's an array or not? This is one of those classic use case that you will use at your work every single day. If you, especially if you're in a development side, be it front end, back end, you will need to, if you're working with anything that's JavaScript, be it Express, Node.js, or even front-end jQuery, JavaScript, pure TypeScript, you will need to check if a particular past variable is an array or not. That's something that you would use more than often. So let's go ahead and see the answer for that. So before I give you the answer, I'll request you to please check out my ebook that I've launched, which cover 108 JavaScript coding snippets that every developer must know. These coding snippets will help you become better developer as well as it will help you help you crack the front-end developer interview role. You can find the link at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you so much in advance. All right, so the question, uh, today's question is how to check if a past variable is an array or not, right? So most modern browsers, right, uh, will support an array method called isArray, which would give you a Boolean value whether if, if the past variable is an array or not. That's as simple as it can get. But certain times you might want to check when you're processing with multiple data formats in complex applications, you'll need this. So that's where is array method will be used. Let's go ahead and do the hands on now. All right, so I'm going to put script and then you're going to define an array and let's say for now. <coughs> right, or say anything, I'm just going to throw in a quick array but you can throw any array in terms of string or you know numbers all right so now you can just do students array dot is so now here this is where you would be a little tricky and be careful because it is not directly that you can use okay so you are going to pass using array object right so you are going to say array dot is array and then you're going to pass the variable name okay that is array dot is array student right now you might want to take it in a variable or a result or just do a console log that's also fine for now so let's go ahead and see that so that's the built-in prototyping right so if you see it says true that this variable is array so if you have something which you want to quickly validate whether it's an array or not and if you want to check the length right um, or uh, this is true this will give you true or false but you can definitely check the length and all that through array length but for now uh, the important thing that you should know is you should look at this array uh, constructor and it has a method called is array and that's something that you would be asked or maybe you will just need it on your day-to-day -day basis which is the method that you should be aware okay now that's the simplest and the fastest way to find if a given variable is an array or not all right i hope uh, this is a good trick that you learned and do check out the ebook uh, for more such interesting questions i'm sure you will gain a lot of knowledge out of it please do check out the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any questions write to me at surya.arad@gmail.com thank you so much in advance